Hey, this is Jeremy Olson here with the Decoding at the Republican Convention, and I'm here with Tom Tracy. How's it going? Well, it's going really good. It's very interesting. We certainly have a lot of people here. Uh, I know the Democrats uh, did not have this problem with lunch, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, it's really good to be here. And it's good to see that so many people have turned out. There might be a little bit of dissension within the Republican Party right now. Everybody's aware of that. But I think for the most part, everybody is very determined that we want to have a good process. And in the end, we want to have some very, very good candidates that will take on the Democrats in November and win. So, Tom, uh, you just mentioned that you're the former district chair. Is that correct? Yes, I'm the former district chair. Uh, the legislators in my district wanted me to actually oppose having this type of convention. There was a movement to have the primary in front of the convention. Uh, I did not agree with them uh, at the December 18th meeting that we had when I was the chairman. I uh, pushed strongly along with some others that we would keep it the way it is. I felt that was the way to enhance, to keep on enhancing the grassroots level of uh, doing politics instead of from the top down. Uh, when I returned, they were very upset with that. And uh, eventually they created enough pressure so that I ended up resigning, actually. Uh, so I am the ex-chairman, yes. Mitch Osley was, I believe, elected as the new chairman. And he's a representative from District 12. So um, one thing, there's a lot of people in North Dakota that don't even understand the district system and everything. Um, can you explain that quick to those people that don't even know how to end up here at a convention and to be part of that grassroots effort? Well, I'll try. North Dakota's made up of, I believe, 47 districts. And uh, each district has an executive committee uh, that is voted in by its members. The executive committee also includes the legislators from that district. So you have an executive committee, and uh, during the course of uh, a certain amount of time, then you will uh, have delegates that you will either appoint, they will volunteer, or they're appointed, or they're elected, depending on the number of delegates that are interested in attending a convention. Uh, I think from what I've heard that it's kind of unprecedented this year that most of the slots have been filled. So that just shows you the tremendous amount of interest that there is for people to get involved. And that's really a very, very positive thing. Well, what we're doing right now is we're in the process of going to lunch because there are so many people here, they're having a hard time counting them. Has that ever happened before that you know of? I have only attended two other conventions. Uh, it wasn't even close to this. Uh, one was way, way back in the 80s. And the other one was, I can't even remember the date, but uh, no, nothing like this, nothing. Well, thank you very much for your time, and uh, as we just said, the delegates are going to lunch so they can figure out how many people are actually here, and we'll get you that number on Facebook shortly.